Hi, I'm Rob, and this is the bass line to And Your Bird Can Sing by The Beatles. It's from their 1966 album, Revolver. And this is a request from Stiggy, so thanks, Stiggy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the request. Another, of course, another great Paul McCartney bass line, The Master. And just a quick reminder, you can visit my website, goodrob13.com. And I post my uh, video guitar lessons there. I post video bass lessons. I have a couple of keyboard lessons, some blog posts, uh, uh, reviews, and other things like that. So um, I'm posting new stuff all the time. So go to my website, goodrob13.com. And if you like my videos, if you find them useful, you like my content, there's a link you can click on it and send me a little donation. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars, it's up to you. Um, I've already received a couple of donations so far and I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. So thank you so much. And um, even if you don't donate, of course, I want you to enjoy my videos and, and I want to help out. So, you know, keep watching. So, And Your Bird Can Sing, great bass line once again. And I'll play through it for a minute, you can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll go over the notes. Uh, it's actually not that hard, just a little bit of memorization, but after uh, you know, maybe a week or so of practice, no problem. So I'm going to start on a high E, 7th fret on the A string. One, two, three, four. Intro, same thing as the verse, they're both the same. So again, I'm starting on the high E, 7th fret on the A string. Then I'm going to a B, the 7th fret on the E string. And then 5th fret on the A string, play a D. 6th fret on the A string, D sharp, E flat. 7th fret on the A string, back to the E. Seventh fret on the A string, seventh fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the A string. And then every once in a while, Paul McCartney throws in a little extra note. So it'll go seventh fret on the A string, seventh fret on the E string. And then 5th fret on the E string, just go down 2 frets real quick. And then 5th fret on the A string, 6th fret, 7th fret. So he just mix it up, you know, he mixes it up from time to time. Um, just makes it a little bit more interesting. So that's the intro, the first half of the verse, and then the second half of the verse it goes up two frets to the ninth fret on the A string, play a high F sharp, and then uh, ninth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the A string, back up to the ninth fret on the A string. So. And then 
seventh fret on the D string, sixth fret on the D string, ninth fret on the A string, then back to the seventh fret on the A string. So. So. of the verse we're on the seventh fret on the A string the high E and then it goes to sixth fret on the D string seventh fret eighth fret ninth fret six seven eight nine on the D string So throw in the octave of the high, of the high E, and even higher E, an octave higher, the ninth fret on the G string. Then it goes into the next section, the bridge. Um, <clears throat> sixth fret on the D string. So we're just playing a high G sharp. Then the way I'm going to play it is open A. Uh, fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the A string. Then fifth fret on the D string. So it was sixth fret on the D string, open A, fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the A string. Fifth fret on the D string, open A, third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the A string. Fourth fret on the D string, open A, second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the A string, then third fret on the D string, open A, and then back to the second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the A string. So again, starting on the sixth fret on the D string. part, 2nd fret on the D string, then 4th on the A, so 2nd on the D, 4th on the A, 2nd on the A, 4th on the E, then back up to the 2nd on the D, up to the 4th on the D. So we're on the 4th on the D, 4th on the A, Second on the D, third on the D, fourth on the D. So, and then back to the fourth on the A, second on. We end that bridge section, that other section, um, second on the A string, a B note, and then an octave, so the fourth fret on the G string, a high B, and then really quick, a really fast fourth fret on the D string, a high F sharp. guitar break. So again, it's back to the high E, 7th fret on the A string. <clears throat> but this time, instead of doing it's same thing, 7th fret on the A string, high E. And then you can do a little slide up to the ninth fret on the D string just to play a high B. And then ninth fret on the G string to play an even higher E. And then ninth fret on 
the A, uh, on the, A, the A string, basically just go up two frets, ninth fret on the A string, 11th fret on the D string, 11th fret on the G string. So we come back from fret on the D string to the seventh to the sixth and then nine seven six on the A string so so on the D string nine seven six on the A string nine seven six and then uh, same thing seventh fret we end on seventh fret on the A string, the high E, and then six, seven, eight, nine on the D string, just like before. And then again back into a bridge section. to the verse a little bit different this time once again it goes back to the high E the seventh fret on the A string then down one fret to the sixth then I'm gonna do the ninth fret on the E string to the seventh fret on the E string so so A string seven six E string nine seven and then back to the seventh fret on the A string and then again a little slide up to the ninth fret on the D string and then uh, seventh fret on the G string ninth fret on the G string so got everything you like a little it sounds like a fancy run it's actually not that difficult again seven on the a string nine on the d string seven on the g string nine on the g string and then um, again up two frets nine on the a string 11 on the D string, 11 on the G string. And then again, 9, 7, 6 on the D string, 9, 7, 6 on the A string. And then the outro, just keep doing that. back to the very beginning same thing we played in the very beginning and then the song ends the bass on the high E seventh fret on the A string and then he uh, uh, Paul ends on the even higher E ninth fret on the G string. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and send more requests.